जय श्री माता जी अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग मेडिटेशन कलेक्टिवली ऑफर प्रणाम टू आदि शक्ति एंड टेक अवर बंधन Let's place our attention on Sahastra. Right hand on Sahastra. Give a gentle massage. Mother Kundalini. Please come in my Sahastra. Thank you. 
Let's place right hand on Mother Earth. We'll take Shri Ganesh Mantra. Om Tameva Saksha Shri Ganesha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Ramadaji, you in the form of Sri Ganesha, please remove all the obstacles to our spiritual ascent. O oh Mother Earth, please help us sustain our meditation today. Mother Earth, thank you for sustaining us. Please ground us to reality. Please remove all the problems of my left channel and all the negativity and its root cause affecting the power of my pure desire. Shri please bless my left side with the qualities of Shri Kali and Shri Bhairavna. Attention on right channel, right muladhar, left hand on mother earth. Shri Martha ji, you in the form of Shri Kartikeya, please remove all the evil and animal tendencies from within me. Please bless me with pure knowledge of your divinity. Absolute wisdom and complete surrender of your Shri Ganesha. Make me worthy of your attention. Left hand towards the sky. Shri Mataji, please remove all the excessive heat from my right side. 
please remove all the doer feeling within me. Please remove all the doshas and negativities which prevent me from completely surrendering to the divine power. All the excessive planning, overthinking, over-responsibility, all the harshness of my words and actions. Let, be, let it all be dissolved in thin air. Let my attention be free. Let Sri Ganesha's wisdom reflect in my attention. Tension on Sancho Moladha. Shramataji. Please make me completely fearless and strong like Shri Ganesha. Mamada, please raise me higher. Take our attention from Muladhara to Sestra. Shri please let Sri Ganesha principle be established on my each chakra.
Then another problem is for the awakening of the Kundalini is your ego. That's tremendous, I must admit. Rather too much for people who follow Christ. It's very surprising. And those who follow Buddha. Because they are anti-Christ. Because they are anti-Buddha. The one who on the cross said, that, oh Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. If you are following Him, how can you have ego? Now the forgiveness is, should be absolutely spontaneous. There should be no ripple even of anger. Because you are so powerful, what can anybody harm you? But if you catch on your agya, only you are harming yourself. If you want to harm yourself, nobody can help it. So this anger, which comes from liver and settles down in your agya, has to be looked into. That's a very important thing where Kundalini stops, in the West especially. Because this whole culture here has created two problems. The first one is acquisition instinct, what you call as greed. The more greed you have, the more these machines can run and you can have industrial development of plastics and then have a conference against ecology. In Spain I saw, I don't know, there must be three, four car factories because every car had only one driver because it had to be there. And so many cars that you just don't know how to move. For your program also is impossible. You must start two hours earlier when you can just take fifteen minutes. In France is another thing, Paris. Paris, if you want to go somewhere, you should start at four o'clock in the morning. Otherwise you cannot reach that place. Same about Milan and same about Rome. The worst is Switzerland. I don't know what to say about Switzerland. It's just, the name itself is rather very dangerous. <laughs> because they are making all ugly money, they are doing all these things. I mean, every kind of sin they have got in the name of acquisition. 
For them, nothing like seeing, taking somebody's money nicely, keeping their, their extracting money from poor countries, keeping, they, they don't feel there's anything wrong. I mean, they have become immune. So this acquisition instinct that we have, and which has been very much fanned and have been made into a big sort of a quality in the West. We should try to see it clearly. In the olden days, in the same European countries, this was used for creating art, for producing artists, for supporting artists. Even in our country, artists were supported by the kings and all the big uh, empires that we had. These days there's no question, no government is willing to support the artist. You know that Mozart was called by the queen herself to play before her. So the governments were not only looking after the collection of taxes, but they were looking after the artists, musicians, uh, painters uh, and people who did creative art. Like in France, you can see how their queen collected beautiful artistic things and encouraged artists to do artistic work, spent her money in that. And now you know that she was killed by people. By killing her, they have killed the art of France. And now the French themselves have become bourgeois. Those whom they condemn, they have become that. So acquisition instinct has to be taken to the acquisition of art. That also should not be plastic, otherwise tomorrow you might start buying plastic, artistic things. Genuinely made, handmade things. Or the music also, which is very deep, classical, singing the songs of the Divine. Not the cheap type music which just makes you mad or makes you full of lust and greed. So this is one of the problems of your culture which gives you this kind of a ego. I mean, people, if they have, say, a Rolls Royce, then of course you, nobody can talk to them. Their brain has blown out of their hats completely. But even the driver of the Rolls Royce, who doesn't own the Rolls Royce, he drives, his head is off. He has a different gait, he walks in a different way, he talks in a different way. So this acquisition instinct gives you so much of ego. I mean, you go to somebody's house, like some stupid Indians who are now in England. I went to their house. They are, they are Sardarjis, means following the path of Guru Nanaka, where drinking is not allowed. So as soon as you rise, he shows us a pub in his house. My God, I said. I went back three, four steps, you see. <laughs> he says, see my pub, as he says. And from the pub he takes out a soda thing and shows us how it pumps out the soda. And, just... and he wouldn't talk, you know. And when we said we don't drink, he thought we were sinners of the worst type, that we don't drink. So this acquisition instinct is now ending up into something which is very cheap 
vulgar and immoral. The fondness for showing off is so much <clears throat> that you are sometimes shocked the way people try to show off. Like an American lady came from America and she asked me, Mrs. Srivastava, how many pubs you have seen in London? I said, none. Oh! <laughs> you are good for nothing. Useless, absolutely. You haven't seen any pub. The best houses in any village, any city in England is a pub. I said, from outside I've seen out actress, just to satisfy. I thought she's the artistic. No, 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 no. Do you know the best pub in London? She gave me the list, you know. I said, which one is the best? There was one called Hermit's Pub. I said, what is this supposed to be? You know, the man who was living in this house died and nobody knew that he's dead. So, for months together nobody went and the whole place was filled with that stink and lots of cow webs were there. Then they removed that dead body from there and the stink is still there and the cow webs absolutely intact, you know. You have to be careful that you don't break them. And there, that is the best pub for which you have to pay quite a lot. And I have seen that, so proud. So where does it end then? This acquisition instinct ends in where? In rottening things, in putrefying, we may call it fermenting. It has to end up because the reaction of the ego comes and you start enjoying things which are rotten like cheese of France. Never eat that. I tell you, it will burn your finger, it will burn your throat and it will burn your stomach. It is very rotten and the more rotten it is, the better. The wine, the wine is the rotten grape juice, absolutely rotten, you can't take it. It's Smells, I've seen the smells like a rotten cork. I asked somebody, how does it smell? He said, it's very fine. I said, does it smell like rotten cork? I've never smelled a cork. That's why I said, if he had smelled a rotten cork, he would never have taken to wine. So, all things that are rotten, you know the discovery of cheese, what had happened, how it started, do you know that? There was a big snowfall and milk was left in one cave. So because of the snowfall, everybody forgot about the milk. It was left there, then summertime the milk became rotten, then it became more rotten, more rotten. After twelve years or so, somebody went and saw this there. <laughs> Thank God I have not taken my food today. <laughs> and so they took that milk, they called it cheese. In India, cheese is used in Urdu language especially for something which is something special thing, something very special. And also, as you know, in music they use it for some special uh, composition, cheese. But here the cheese is the most rotten milk 
it's no human beings or animals should eat. Worms may. So they gave it to worms. And I know in Holland and also in Sweden, I think, yeah. <laughs> they had cheese with worms and they were eating the worms. Can you beat it? Not only the cheese but also the worms. I mean, see where we have ended up into our acquisition instinct. The wine has to be hundred-year-old, certified, that's the best. Such rotten things we are eating, they smell, I tell you, they smell of it. That's why once I was surprised that they go to the bathroom, don't even wash their hands. We get such horrible smells, they don't get, because if you take that cheese, you cannot smell anything rotten. Even if you put them in the gutters, they won't feel anything rotten because it's all that dirty smell they are used to. It's the filth. I mean, even if they go to hell, they won't feel bad because the smell will be the same. <laughs> so where should we put them? <laughs> they are so immune to that dirty smell, which is absolutely subhuman. So this acquisition instinct in any elite society, once upon a time French society was regarded as elite. What Shri Mataji, may I this day be what you would have me be? 
May I, this day, say what you would have me say? May I, this day, be part and parcel of the whole? And may my thoughts be that of a realized soul? May I, this day, have love for all mankind? Shamata ji, please put your lotus feet into my heart, into my mind, into my attention. Thank you for bringing us together and experience the power of the divine love collectively. Please remove all the doshas and all the hyperactivity, all the ego, all the doer feeling from within us. Bless us with the qualities of Sri Ram so that Ram Rajya, the divine kingdom, can be established on Mother Earth. Let your kingdom come, your will be done. Mahamantras. Let's all collectively offer our pranams to Adi Shakti. Take our abundance. Shri thank you for this collective meditation. Shri Mataji, please keep us united in your divine love forever and ever. 
have a normal day, everyone. Shri Ram Chandra 
Jeez.